Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Asia Marquis. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you all how to make this photo flower vase using items from your local Dollar Tree. This is a super cute, inexpensive, last minute Valentine's Day gift. So if you're interested in finding out how to create this, stay tuned. So for this DIY project, you will need a foam poster board, four five by seven picture frames. You will need four pictures. In this video, I'll just be using pictures of myself cause I don't got a bae, a baby, a boo, or nothing like that. But if you have a significant other, make sure that you use pictures of the two of you for this DIY project. You will need a bouquet of faux flowers. I only purchased four of them from my local Dollar Tree two packs of floral foam. You'll need a hot glue gun and some E6000 glue. Don't be trying to talk about me because my E6000 glue is so tiny. I couldn't find my big one. <laughs> oh, and I forgot to add scissors and a pen to this layout here, but you will need both of those items. And in this video, you will also see that I am using a box cutter. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is take the backs of your picture frames off. Um, this is actually a little bit more difficult than I expect it to be just because those tabs that hold the back of the picture frame in place are really hard to lift. So you'll see me using the back of my box cutter to lift up those tabs and remove the backs. Next, you want to get a paper towel and just wipe down the inside of the picture frame glass. Um, I just used regular old water for this. Uh, I know sometimes when I watch these type of videos, they recommend using alcohol to wipe down glass. However, because of COVID and the alcohol and disinfectant shortage that we had, I didn't wanna waste my alcohol doing this. So I'm just using some water, but feel free to use alcohol if you'd like. Next, I am just adding my four pictures into the picture frames. Very simple here. Don't really need to explain this part. I'm sure you've all put pictures in picture frames before. So let's just speed this up, shall we? When you're adding the backs back to the frame, make sure that you do this very, very carefully. The first time that I tried out this DIY project, I actually cracked the glass while pressing the backs back into the picture frame. So just make sure that you are very gentle and delicate when doing the steps so that you don't break the glass. Next, you just want to flip over all of your picture frames. Look how nice those look. I cannot believe that I only pay $1 each for those. Mm. Well, next, you just want to take that same paper towel with the water or the alcohol and wipe down the frames and the glass. For this next step, you will need a hot glue gun. I actually purchased this hot glue gun from Joanne Fabrics. When I went, I had a 50% off coupon, so it only cost me about $3.50, and it came with free glue sticks. So if you need a hot glue gun, make sure you head over to Joanne Fabrics. Check out their website before you go to see if you can also snag a 50% off coupon to save you some money. Now, I didn't do this step on camera, but you want to make sure that you take the stand of the picture frames off. You just rip them off and toss them to the side. Next, you want to take your E6000 glue and you're just going to dab dots of glue down the back side of the picture frame. You see me struggling there because it's running out, but I'm gonna make do. <laughs> Next, you want to do the other side as well. 
And look, I'm really running out now. It's like the, the last bit of toothpaste in the tube. You gonna squeeze and make sure you get it all. <laughs> so I'm just trying to get through this project. <laughs> all right. Right after that, you want to follow up with your hot glue. And you really wanna work fast with hot glue because right when the air hits it, it starts to harden. So you wanna move pretty quickly with this step. And as you can see, the hot glue gun was not trying to cooperate and let me be great. <laughs> so you wanna do that to both sides of the picture frame. Once you do that to both sides, you want to match it up with the seams of the picture frame that is already intact. And it's really that simple. Make sure that it's lined up very nice and neat. Press together to ensure that everything is in place. And then you wanna, if you have any um, overspill of glue, just use your finger to wipe that away. And that's it, look at that. Super quick and easy. Next, you want to take your picture frame vase and you want to place it on the corner of your foam poster board. And you want to trace the shape of the vase. All right. As you can see, that's not perfectly done, but whatever. So after that, you wanna cut that out and you want to place that foam cutout inside the vase to the very bottom. Then we're gonna flip it over, make sure that it's inside the picture frame. Make sure that you actually have it in about, I wanna say that's probably about an inch inside, just so that it's not seen from the bottom of the vase. Go ahead and hot glue the sides of that foam poster board to the frame. As you can also see, it's not quite even all the way around, but it's okay. It's okay, because no one's gonna see it, guys. No one's gonna see it. <laughs> all right. Just a little bit more hot glue. Oh, I ran out, you see? Shout out to those free uh, hot glue sticks. All right, then you just wanna press, press it in to make sure that it's secure. And that's it. Next, you want to get your flower foam and make sure that you keep the plastic wrapping on, please, or you'll have green stuff everywhere. Take your hot glue gun and add some to the bottom of the flower foam and you're going to place it inside the base um, onto that poster board that we just glued to the bottom. And we're gonna do the same thing to the other one. And bam, that's simple. Next, you wanna grab your flowers here, I am just cutting each of the flowers away from the bouquet. And to do this, I'm just taking a pair of scissors that I got from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just cutting into that plastic piece until the wire is exposed, and then I am bending that until it snaps off. Make sure that you are using scissors that you aren't too concerned about messing up because this process will dull your scissors. And if you have wire cutters, that's even better. I just couldn't find mine when I was doing this and I didn't wanna take the time to look for them. So this is just what we had to do. <laughs> so after that, your flower should look something like this. And you're gonna just take each flower and you are going to stick it into that flower foam. Oh, make sure that you move the leaves up or the petals so that you can kind of see that uh, decor in it as well. And then you're just gonna insert that into the flower foam. And this is honestly a freestyle. However you think it should look, that is definitely up to you. So you're just gonna play around with inserting these flowers inside. Thank you. 
All right, and after all your flowers are inside the vase, you just wanna play around with it until it makes the shape that is most aesthetically pleasing to you, darling. <laughs> Now this last step is optional. I purchased some bling wrap from the Dollar Tree. Anyone who knows me knows that I love bling. It just adds a little pizzazz to everything. <laughs> so all I'm doing is measuring how long of a piece that I need. I'm going to glue this bling wrap in the openings where the two picture frames meet uh, that I glued together. So I'm just cutting the strip and then I'm going to take that large strip and I'm going to cut it into little single strips once you cut your strips you're going to lay it up against that opening and then i don't know why i just i don't know what i'm looking at but anyway um <laughs> i am supposed to be adding a little bit of hot glue come on asia get to it <laughs> add a little hot glue to that first uh, gem and then I'm just going to glue that to the base of the frame and just add a little bit of glue because you don't want it to start seeping out the sides then you'll just have more of a mess add another dab small dab of glue to the middle gem you're gonna press that down And then you're just gonna do the same thing to the very last gem. And that's it. Super, super simple. And after you're done adding the bling wrap around the entire vase, this is what it looks like. See, bling wrap makes everything look better. Tell me I'm lying. <laughs> And that's it, ta-da! <laughs> I told you all that this photo flower vase is very easy, quick, and inexpensive to make. It would make a lovely Valentine's Day gift for someone else or even for yourself. Shout out to all my single ladies out there. You know, we gotta treat ourselves too, okay? If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. As always, I'm wishing all of you love, peace, and good health. I will see you all in my next video.